Hello, Chaz Marler from the Pair of Dice Paradise board game podcast here, telling Risk lovers to rejoice! A new version of Risk was recently released. Oh, and as I've mentioned before, I do have a soft spot for Risk, because when I was a kid, it was one of the few games that I could get the other members of my family to play with me. My stepbrother and I <laughs> used to have day-long games of it over the summer. So, what innovations can we look forward to in this variation of the classic confrontation for world domination? New win conditions? A new twist on the evolving legacy environment? Okay, it is Risk Doctor Who, the Dalek Invasion. Ooh, it's another franchise tie-in. Doctor Who won this time, because apparently that's something that as a society we're going to let happen now. Yippee! Oh, Risk, why, why are you even trying? I mean, do you just, oh, couldn't you? Okay, it's true that every now and then you do come out with a new well-designed concept, but man, it just, it seems that lately, more often than not, you just rebrand and repackage the same old, I mean, it just comes across as lazy. I, oh, okay, I'm so frustrated, I can't even get the words out. All right, old friend, it looks like the only way that I'm gonna get my point across to you is to take this conversation to the next level by using the most efficient form of communication devised by man, the battle rap. Here goes. Aw, oh, tisk tisk, Risk. The point you've missed, I used to play you every Saturday. And it was bliss. Now, it is no fable. We're always on my table. Being my favorite game, you once were capable. Your pretty plastic pieces. I can't resist, but all these recent versions make me want to clench my fist. With what you've been up to, consider bidding you adieu. Like Professor Knott would say, I'm here to warn you. You hit the scene in 59 and for 27 years. All was fine. Then released the version castle. It has some class, so it got a little hassle, not even reviewed by Vassal. At the turn of last century, Risk 2210 AD, mechanized troops on land and sea as you hoard up energy. Now call me a joker, but Godstorm's no choker, except for two shades of brown. I'm sorry, ochre. Lord of the Rings and Return of the King introduced us to leaders and came with bling. But then you were misled, licensing things instead. A version based on Autobots? Oh, Hasbro make it stop. Then risk reinvention, Black Ops in an alt dimension, reissue the original. Do you pay attention? You're out of ideas here. A copy based on Metal Gear? Do we really need six versions of risk released a year? But then came Legacy, a breath of fresh air to me. Regain some credibility. I opened each pack breathlessly. Legacy made me glow, but then came Halo, another franchise tie-in. How low will you go? Let's license StarCraft, ride the wave of Star Wars, cash in on Mass Effect, get in bed with The Walking Dead. Plants vs. Zombies Risk, two games in one, but remind me again, which was the fun one? Your desperation's showing, these versions are all blowing, and I bet you're knowing where this is going. Risk, Doctor Who? I'll throw it in the stew, another uninspired brew? Now on sale for you. You think you have a blank check? Don't be a Dalek. Don't just exterminate. Reinvigorate. Allow me to elucidate. It is not too late. Don't just imitate. Innovate. And even after all of that, you know I'm still going to end up just buying it anyway. <laughs>